everybody. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. There's a trade to announce. The Philadelphia Flyers have traded Ivan Provorov and Hayden Hogson to the Los Angeles Kings in exchange for Cal Peterson, Sean Walker, Helge Granz, and the twenty uh, the 2024 second round pick from L.A., Columbus acquires Kevin Connaughton from the Flyers in exchange for a 2023 first-round pick, which is 22nd overall, which is the pick that was involved in the Jonathan Quick trade, and the conditional second-round pick in either the 2024 or 2025 uh, NHL draft. And Columbus acquires Provorov in LA uh, or from LA uh, in exchange for Connaughton. So, what does this mean? This is huge. Uh, this trade, the first big move Danny Breyer has made, um, I was actually prepping for the podcast tonight at six o'clock, uh, with the new segment kicking in with Knubel. Uh, and I also had Bill Clement coming on and now there's this, there's the trade. Um, and all of this stuff is now coming up, um, as well. So this is a huge deal. Obviously, uh, Provorov is out, um, it's not something that I was not expecting. It honestly, it it it, it makes sense. Um, I I think it had to happen. Uh, I I wasn't a huge fan of trading Pro Rob unless you got the right return, and this is the right return. Uh, you get another defenseman. Uh, you get a backup goaltender. You know, kind of fringe, kind of starting goaltender. P- Peterson definitely can still play. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you have Helge Grants, a right-handed prospect, six foot four, and the Kings' twenty twenty-four second round pick. So you added a second, right? Something you didn't have for the upcoming, uh, you know, two years. The Flyers didn't have a second for this draft or the following year. Um, you have the twenty twenty-three first round pick. You get another. So now the Flyers will pick seventh and twenty-second overall. Uh, and then you get a conditional second round pick uh, in either 2024 or 25. And you trade away Hayden Hogson, who was playing down in Lehigh Valley. Same thing with Kevin Kanaughton. Um Again, those two guys. I mean, Hogson literally played one game. And then those are just kind of throw-ins in the deal. But really, the main thing is you added a right. I really like that they added, at least for Briere a right-handed defenseman prospect. You needed that. You didn't have anybody else outside of Ronnie Adderd. This is a home run of a first trade for Danny Briere. Uh, an absolute home run. And that's why I have the shirt. Danny B and Jonesy make, you know, make Flyers hockey great again because that, that, that this is the start of that. This is the exact start of what this team needed to do. You move out a contract uh, in Provorov, right? The Kings retain 30% of it. Flyers add back Walker, who's 28. Uh, he has one year left uh, on his deal. It's a four-year contract, so he's one year, 23-24 at 2.65. Cal Peterson has two years left on a modified no trade at $5 million. Okay, well, what does that leave with Carter Hart? Now, There's it was reported that Carter Hart and the Flyers are working on a Hart trade. It would make sense uh, if you're getting a, a, a goaltender. Um, in Peterson, and you're going to move Hart. It seems like Urson is the future. Peterson is a guy that definitely can rebound. Um, I've said it before, and I said it at the deadline. The Flyers needed guys like Owen Tippett, right? And and guys that you can kind of revamp, and and you know maybe a change of scenery helps. Peterson's another guy like that. He had a really tough season this past year, up and down through the American League and all that stuff. And uh, there were games where I would watch and I'd be like, oh my god, what happened to Peterson? So, you know, this is a huge thing. And, you know, everyone thought that Kevin Hayes was the one to go to, to uh, Columbus. And now it's Provorov. And, um, you know, you get two second-round picks. Uh, you get another first-round pick. You get a defenseman who can definitely still play. Um, and and, and uh, Ed Walker, who can, you know, definitely fill in a spot. Um, and then you have Peterson, who will play. The only thing that really this hurts for the Flyers right now is on paper, this does make the Flyers worse. Um, you did just move a guy who has a lot of minutes, blocks a lot of shots, does all the the, the little things right defensively. And, and you know, Provorov doesn't really contribute offensively. I do think this is a win, though, because you moved a guy in Provorov who is easily at his worst value. Um, and you got a first, a second, another defenseman and a prospect and another goaltender. I mean, that that's, that's fantastic. Um, now you did also move out Hogson and Connaughton, but those are two guys that weren't, you know, doing much for your actual NHL team. Anyway, um, they're kind of just throw wins in the deal. 
So, you know, the the salary will have to get worked out, but you basically, you know, the, the 2.6 and the 5.5, that's pretty much Provorov's contract right there. You just replace that, and it's only one year, um, a maximum of, of, of three with all of that. And, you know, again, Walker only has one year. So, for me, I love the deal. Um, it does make the Flyers worse, uh, you know, on paper, um, but it makes sense. And these are the type of deals that you have to make to – start a rebuild and start all of this stuff. And and this is exactly what they're doing. I love that he adds another sec, uh, excuse me, another first round pick in number 22. Um, if Carter Hart does get traded and I think he's going to, um, which is really hard for me to swallow, but if it, if it happens, uh, then my guess is you're going to get probably another first round pick in between seven and 22. That means you'd have three. Uh, and then that would, that would be sweet. So, we'll see let me know your guys thoughts below uh remember the podcast tonight 6 p.m uh here on youtube uh gonna be a good one got a lot of good stuff obviously gonna be talking about the trade got mike knubel bill clement come tune in six o'clock thanks everybody again for all the support and i'll talk to you all again soon